All right, we're going to take a little sidetrack from the character that we've been working with so far in the previous lessons and open up a scene where we're going to be working with a character from the next Shave and a Haircut kit, which is the Practical Guide to Shave and a Haircut. So this is the creature for Lesson 8, and we're going to you're going to see this creature quite a bit. You'll learn how to mo model him and sculpt him. And uh, in the Shave and a Haircut Practical Guide, we're going to teach you how to put hair on the guy. So I want to use this guy as an example of attenuate and recomb, which will save you a lot of time. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select the surface, we'll go to Shave, Create New Hair, and then we'll just choose the default. So it'll take it just a second to apply the hair system. There we go. And everything looks fine. Okay, we're ready to, to start combing this. However, if I go to component mode and take a look, you'll notice that I have a tremendous amount of guide hairs to work with. And unfortunately, they're all the same length. Well, what attenuate will do, let me go ahead and turn those back off, is say, okay, if we have this surface selected, wherever you have a large polygon, use very long guide hairs, and where you have very small polygons, use very, very small guide hairs. Well, what does that do for us? Well, let's select this hair system, and we'll go up here and hit Attenuate, which is this button right here. Now, instantly, you see something happen. It's like you got an automatic haircut. Well, let's go into the component mode and take a look at the guide hairs. As you can see in the back here, where we have these broad polygon shapes, we have very long guide curves. But areas like here up on the ear, we have very short by the eyes, very short uh, guide hairs. This is going to save us a ton of time when it comes time to brushing him and scaling and things like that. Now, later on in, in the actual uh, practical guide kit, we'll show you a lot of the techniques for um, cutting the hair, styling the hair, setting the colors, and then the dynamics for a character like this. But what I'd like to do right now is just show you how to use the recomb. And the recomb is going to pop the hairs out, lay them down. That way I don't have to go over the whole character and brush and deal with the hairs going into the geometry. So we'll go ahead and hit recomb. Give it just a second. There we go. And he looks like he's just got doused with water, and that's kind of what we want. We want the hairs to all lay down nice and flat. And now we can start to puff out the hairs and create the look that we're after. So we're now ready to open up our brush tool and get things like our puff and puff these hairs out to create the final look that we're after. Okay, Everything is nicely flowing the body. Okay, so that's that's kind of a quick look at attenuate and recomb and how you can utilize this on your own projects. Like I said, getting this werewolf done is a whole kit in itself because it's a number of steps. But this will hopefully get you started in the right direction for your own characters and your own projects.